I'm Anil Kumar. To help solve questions related to circle theorem, we'll now understand another rule which relates angle in semicircle. Rule number three, angle in a semicircle contains 90 degrees. What we're trying to say here is that if we form a triangle with diameter as one of the sides. So if I take one side as the diameter of a circle, then any point on the circumference will result into 90 degrees angle at that point, right? So if we take any point, let's say, let's say if we have another point here, then the triangle formed with the diagonal will always be a right triangle. So that is the rule number three. Now, it does make sense from the previous rule which we learned. We have learned that the, the angle at the center is twice the angle which is formed by a point on the circumference with a chord. Perfect. So if the angle is 180 degrees, which is for the case of diagonal, half of 180 degrees is equal to 90 degrees, right? So, so from the previous rule, which we call as rule number two, we can conclude that in a semicircle, any triangle formed will be a right triangle. So angle in a semicircle contains 90 degrees. So it's a right triangle. That is what we're trying to say here. So based on this, uh, let's have a few questions. Let's say that's the diagonal. And let's consider a triangle, which is kind of like this. If one of these angles is 40 degrees, find the other angle X. So let this be the question for you. Another question for you is, let's consider this triangle and let it go through the diagonal. So, so here we have a right triangle. If one of the angles is Let's say this angle here is 3x plus 1 and the other angle is 7x minus 1. You need to find these angles. Correct? So these are questions for you to practice. Let's begin with question A. Here, since one of the side is the diagonal, we know it is a right triangle. Sum of three angles of a right triangle is 180 degrees. Therefore, x plus 40 should be 90 degrees or x is equal to 90 minus 40, right? Which is 50 degrees. So in this case, x is equal to 50 degrees. Now let's do the next question. Let's say question number part B. Now here we know that, well, this angle should be 3x plus 1, right? The other angle, because that's the diagonal, this angle is 90 degrees, perfect? This is 90 degrees. Now let's find angle x. I mean, all the angles of this triangle. Now, some of these two angles should be 90 degrees, right? So we can solve this as 3x plus 1 plus 7x minus 1 equals to 90 degrees. 3 plus 7 is 10. 1 minus 1 is 0. So 10x is 90 degrees or x is equals to 9 degrees, right? So if x is 9, the angle will be 3 times 9 plus 1, which is 28 degrees. So this angle will be 28 degrees. The other one will be 90 minus 28 or we'll write 7 times 9 
minus 1, which is 63 minus 1, which is 62 degrees, right? So this will be 62 degrees. And when you add them, you get 90, and the other angle is 90 degrees, right? So with the help of this rule, that angle in a semicircle contains 90 degrees, we can solve such questions relating to circles. Thank you and all the best.